Crasho says, hey, Robbie and Carrie, I just wanted to inform you that I used the latest show, Backing Up Your Files with Ubuntu CDs, to boot up live CD in a very infected PC that would not boot. I backed up the stuff on a clean backup thumb drive uh, and scanned the thumb drive on a PC with a good virus scanner. This saved me tons of time, uh, times of removing the hard drive and backing up the files manually on mm. a second PC. It was great. This show provides value in, valuable information. Thanks from Crescio. That's a cool point that Crescio makes there too about taking the, the hard drive out of the computer. Mm -hmm. You know, that can be really frustrating, especially if it's one of these like uh, rinky dink uh, ma mass manufactured systems where the hard drives are in behind the power supply and uh, like things are. What did you call it? Rinky dink. Skin them a rinky dink. Well, it's like those things that you just want to, like, eh, they're <laughs> so frustrating because if you get in there as a, as a system builder, it's like, uh -huh. you know, you've got to remove this part, you've got to remove this part, and you got to get the video card out of there in order to get to this part. Uh -huh. and so, yeah, like, those are really, really frustrating. But not only that, um, but we should mention that uh, by taking a hard drive out of the system that has viruses and is, is like, ma like, filled with viruses, and then popping that into another Windows system, and then booting up that computer with that infected hard drive, and then accessing that hard drive and starting to copy some files over, guess what you're risking? You've just given the virus to the computer. Quite possibly. Mm. You know medical stuff and you know how things yeah. get transferred. You probably right? catch so. a cold from it too, right? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Very <laughs> risky. So with using Ubuntu, because it's not susceptible to those Windows viruses, using that boot disk like we did last week, Kresha, uh, you're, you're also basically avoiding infecting the computer that you're using at that time. Make sure you scan that thumb drive though like you said you did uh, and make sure you get any viruses out of the files if there are any kind of lingering there. But very good. Glad we could help. Yeah.